Hi there, Post Processes here, and welcome back to my epic production pipeline series. I just ran out of names for my series. Anyway, in today's video we will talk about ACES workflow, what it is, how to set it up for your renders in Unreal Engine, color grade it in DaVinci Resolve using proper post-production pipeline, and what are the benefits of using it. I don't want to waste your time with a lot of theory, so I will try to be quick. ACES stands for Academy Color Encoding System, which is an industrial standard for color accurate workflow developed in 2004 for seamless interchange of motion picture images regardless of the source. As more digital cameras and technologies got into the motion picture industry, implementing unified color management scheme for diverse sources coming from a variety of digital cameras, film, CGI and composure. In other words, ACE is actually a framework for CGI, composure and color grading. If you have multiple file formats like raw footage from different cameras and CGI elements, you will have unified workflow. You have IDT, Input Device Transform, which transforms source image to ACES and ODT, Output Device Transform, which matches your output signal with the color space of your monitor or cinema projector. But in between, in ACES, all the magic happens. Here you have color grading, composure and all other stuff. All of post-production companies are using ACES framework as it helps to keep the work in order. And Unreal Engine also implements it for renders. As it's getting into film industry, it should meet the requirements. Now let's jump into Unreal and set our color management. First we need to make sure that you have all needed plugins enabled in your project. As in default empty project there is no movie render queue or OSIR plugins enabled. Go to settings, plugins and look for movie render queue and enable it. After that, search for OCO and enable that too. We will be using it for our color transform during renders. Unreal will ask you to restart after that, do so. So here I've downloaded the ArcVis interior from Unreal Engine Marketplace, set the camera and the sequence. Now we need to create open color configuration in order to render it in ACES. In your content browser, right click on an empty field and start typing open color. When open color configuration appears, select it. I will name mine OCO ACES. Open configuration blueprint. In Unreal Engine 5.2, you already have all what you need. In previous version, you had to download configuration file from GitHub or open color IO and locate the downloaded file and reload the config. But right now it's much simpler and you don't need to waste your time on that. Keep this parameter as it is. In desired color spaces, add two elements by clicking on plus button. First, select utility, linear sRGB. It's the default color space Unreal Engine works in. In the second element, select ACES, ACES CG. Rendering in ACES CG will give you a wider gamut, but it doesn't mean that it is better than rendering by default in linear sRGB, as I showed in my previous video, and it's up to you to decide. But here I'm demonstrating you ACES workflow, so it is what it is, right? Color transform setup is set. Now let's add it to our render. Open movie render queue and add your sequence. Open sequence settings. Click on add setting, add color output. Make sure is enabled checkbox is ticked. Here choose open color profile you've just created. In source color space choose linear sRGB. In destination transform ACES CG. For this example I will render only one frame for demonstration purposes. While it is rendering it's important to let you know that ACES is much wider color space than REC709. You must use either AXR or ProRes 4444 for that purpose. Now when render is finished, let's get into DaVinci Resolve. I would like to remind you that Resolve has free version with some limitation and perpetual license, which costs $295 or comes with Blackmagic Design hardware such as cameras and panels. Before we import our sequence in ACES, we need to prepare project color management in DaVinci Resolve. Navigate to right lower corner and click on Project Settings. Select Color Management. In Color Space tab, select ACES CCT and set ACES version 1.3. Tick checkbox Apply ACES Reference Gamma Compress. Set ACES Input Transform to REC709 
I will explain why in few minutes, and set output transform to Rec. 7092, and use color space aware grading tools. Ok, let's sum up what we just did and why you should use these settings for any of your projects. We chose ACCCT because it's working space for color grading. It was requested by colorists to create grading environments similar to traditional logarithmic film scans when grading, but using ACES family of color spaces. Also, if you would like to know what is ACES working color space or interchange color space, you can check the link down in the description. I've left all the resources which I use for this video down below. I chose Input Transform Rack 709 so I can manually set up input color space for my footages. Sometimes if Resolve doesn't read metadata properly, it can create incorrect display of your footage and it's better to set them manually in media pool. Output Rack 709 is set to properly display final result on PC screens as a default display color space. Checkbox for Gamut Compress will fix over bright areas such as neon lights or bright light sources in your shots. And finally, Color Space Aware grading tools will make all your instruments work in ACES, resulting for example correct exposure when using HDR wheels. Now you can drag and drop your Unreal Engine sequence file to Media Pool. Before dropping it to Timeline, you need to define color space for that. Right click on your footage, ACES Input Transform Color Space Conversion, ACES CG. Drop it into your timeline, it should look properly, but as we don't have metadata in the XR file, Resolve wouldn't be able to correctly recognize it. And if I switch ACES Input Transform back to No Input Transform, we will get incorrect results. So keep it as ACCG, as we did it before, drop into Timeline. Now we can color grade in ACES working color space. Whew, this is it. Now see why the previous video explained my lazy approach between this one. Let's get all wrapped up. We assigned proper color space for our Unreal Render, transformed it into ACES, so we are working in ACES color space, without losing information from your file. But you see on your monitor final image in Rec. 709, which suits your computer screen. And any raw file which you drop on timeline from cameras such as Blackmagic, Red or Ari has metadata in it, which DaVinci will read and apply it properly in order to convert input color space from mentioned cameras to ACES color space and will display correctly in Rec. 709 on your screen. Now you even can do composure infusion, merging these footages and after that color grading them as a single clip, without any issues because they both sit in one color space. The benefit of this approach is that you can apply same show LUT for entire timeline and it will work the same on each camera, CGI render or composed footage. And that's ACES workflow. Even iPhones support that right now, so you definitely should know how to use it. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to know more about Unreal Engine and post-production tips. See you in the next one.